Africa has experienced the highest urban growth during the last two decades at 3.5% per year, and this rate of growth is expected to hold into 2050. These projections also indicate that between 2010 and 2025, some African cities will account for up to 85% of the population. This rapid expansion has resulted in proliferation of slums, which makes it difficult to connect addresses to people or properties. This also leads to service delivery constraints due to lack of an official addressing system. Map IT, currently known as TomTom Tom South Africa, a leading international digital mapping provider, has adopted a new technology called Map Codes as a solution to the struggle. A uh, map code is a short seven-digit character code uh, which allows you to find a location to within five meter accuracy anywhere on the earth. Oh, map codes can be used for lots of things in Africa because as, as you know, we are urbanizing at a very fast rate. We have lots of informal settlements. The countries are vast. We, a lot of places there are no road signs and no addresses. So the map codes can really solve those problems. Take for instance a crime has happened in one of our slums, the police want to get there. And it's a challenge as we speak now. I mean, we have our slum called Kibira, which is a big slum. And those are some of the challenges we face. A map code is computer generated code that represents a physical location and usually consists of two groups of letters and digits separated by a dot. Developed by TomTom soon after GPS satellite signals were opened up for civilian use, today increasing amounts of global companies are adopting map code as standard practice. Well, basically there are four types of codes that are available for all locations, and uh, depends on the size of the depending on the size of the country, the granularity might change a little bit. So for uh, the Earth, then it will be covered by a nine-digit code. A country the size of Africa would have a seven-digit code. Kenya, Ghana, Benin, we will have something like a six-character code. But ultimately, all the people living in urban areas, uh, they will have a four-digit code, uh, and, and that's about the shortest we can get. In order for every location on Earth to be represented, map codes were designed to be short, easy to recognize, and easy to remember, and are claimed to be precise up to a few meters. And it's exactly for this reason that it's been seen as a viable option by the South African Post Office for use in their daily operations. The map codes we incorporate on the geographic location component of the new system, uh, which enables us to, for example, differentiate between Rosebank and Cape Town versus Rosebank and Johannesburg. So the name itself can be confusing without a code. If the Rosebank had a 7,000 range uh, identifier, we would know it's Cape Town. If it had a 2,000 range, we would know it's Johannesburg. But in the absence of that, you wouldn't know which one of the two it, it, it is. Uh, so this enables us to make sure that that mail goes to the correct place in Johannesburg, not in the Eastern Cape or the other way around. Map code works even when there's no address. If you, for example, a park bench somewhere in the open, a tree in a forest, even the elevator on, on the Eiffel Tower. They all have map codes. Map codes are not unique to addresses. They are a grid on the earth, which is all five meter accuracy, five, meter, five square meter accuracy. Map codes were designed specifically as a free, brandless international standard for representing any location on the surface of the earth. But it's also opened up growth opportunities for businesses, especially in Africa. Mobile penetration, internet penetration in Africa is moving at a very, very fast rate. There's a lot of appetite for online shopping. So I think this is the answer to enhance uh, e-commerce. For our purposes, they are sufficient. Uh, they give us a resolution down to about five meters. For our purposes, that's perfectly good enough. If you're five meters away from something, you can see it. You know where it is. <laughs> if you can't see it, there must be some very serious fog or something of that nature. But we have uh, uh, everything that we need within that map code resolution. It's perfectly suitable for us, for our purposes. Yeah.